Hello there, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today, I'm going to show you how to draw Bruce Timm's Batman. So come on, let's get started. You know, in the short run of this channel, most of the episodes done so far have been answers to requests for how to draw certain characters. Well, today's my birthday, so we're going to draw what I want to draw, and hopefully you will too. Uh, chances are, if you clicked on this video, you already do. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw Batman from Batman the Animated Series, as designed by Bruce Timm. Back in 1992, Warner Brothers Animation put out this amazing series that pretty much changed the scope of TV animation forever. It was a very dark, very mysterious, beautifully animated depiction of some of the greatest canon stories in the Batman lore. You know, I've been looking to do a whole series of Bruce Tim inspired uh, videos, so um, we're gonna get started in that right away. But please give this video a like and throw down in the comments any particular characters that you would like to see done, and I'll expedite those over the ones I'm planning. So let's dive right into this. So, when drawing Batman, and I'll tell you, he was very difficult to get for a while for me. Uh, I would start with the circle and then I would give him the chin, but I would never know exactly how far down to draw that box. So I very carefully watched how Bruce does things. And then I decided um, we should probably give it some kind of formula that makes sense. So what I do is I start with the circle, I throw that horizontal right down the middle, and then um, I will then take that circle give it a bit of a of an egg shape here because he has a cranium right so what I do now is I will take my pencil and I'll measure from that horizontal line down to the bottom of the circle and bring it down and throw in a dash just like that and that is the length of his head ever since I figured that out it's been pretty easy all right so now we have that in I'm going to throw in another line right about here, and that'll give us where his eyes are. Now, he's got that center line down here like this, so we know where his nose goes, just like that. Cut it in here. So then the cowl cuts a little deeper into the head than the jawline, and then we come down. Now, we're going to give him a 45 degree angle cut right in here for his jawline. And depending on how far in he's looking, this line will change. But now we've got his jaw and his chin. When Batman is looking to the side, you get a side profile, his jaw will come out a little bit and his lower lip as well. The earlier episodes, he had a rounded lower lip, and then later on, they streamlined it to a to a 45 degree angle. But okay, so now let's get back into here. What I will do is I'll give him that little slit of a mouth like that, and then he's got his cheek line that they put way over here. And now that we've got that in, let's figure out where those eyes go. So I like to very lightly throw in the top part of a diamond shape like that. And that'll give me the idea where his eyes begin. Come up like that. And then on this side, because you've got more of his eye, his eye is considerably bigger. All right, and now that I've got that in, I will cut into his cowl shape a little bit. Come down like this, go straight up, give him a bat ear there, and then give him a smaller bat ear right about here. And while I have this in here, I will bring that ear down a little bit and use that initial circle to throw in what would be a blue highlight 
just like that. And there you are. There's Batman. Now, if I wanted to draw in the whole body of Batman, there's this great image of him right at the end of the opening sequence where he's standing on top of a skyscraper and he's looking down on the city. There's a flash of lightning that goes behind him, which gives a great lighting effect. But the pose is gorgeous. So I would like to do that right now. All right, so now that we know how to draw Batman's head, let's dive into how to draw him from an action pose. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to give him, let's see, yep, just like this. A uh, slight bit of a cranium, because we are gonna be looking at him from below. He, we're gonna be looking up at him. So we're gonna force that perspective quite a bit. Okay, um, so let's see, uh, let's throw in that face, okay, and if you need to refresh, you can always rewind the video a little bit and get a good feeling for that head shape, okay. Uh, let's see, I'm going to give him a very menacing expression here, and because we're looking down, we're going to curve this a little bit. Right, and we're going to push it like this, yeah. All right, so we've got his ear here, his other ear will go here. Um, you're not really gonna see that from below, but here we go. Okay, so if we were gonna draw Batman's whole body, he is eight heads tall. So if I were to take my ruler, find the right facet here. All right, so he's eight heads tall. We got zero up the top of the head. He is down here. But we also have to break down um, how tall the torso is, which is just under three heads tall. So if we come down here a little bit, give some area for his neck, right? So we gotta go uh, one, two, three, but you gotta come up a little bit, and there we go. But we're forcing the perspective, so he's gonna be squished in a little bit. But with Bruce Tim, we have to remember that line of action, uh, it's, he's not going to be straight up and down. It, they rarely are, but Bruce Tim really pushes those dynamic poses. Uh, so his spine will actually be not quite a question mark. I'm not going to go that far, but it does go pretty back. So with Bruce Tim, his line of action, especially when doing dynamic poses like this, is he really pushes that chest forward, which pushes uh, his torso and his back, the spine, really pushes and arches forward. The shoulders are back, but the chest goes forward. So we're going to uh, give him an oval shape. We're going to really push the shoulders, the pecs, the belt, but we're also going to push that belt up a little bit because we're forcing perspective. Wow, how many times am I going to say that in five minutes? Okay, so his pectoral muscles are really going to come in like this and like that. His shoulders are going to be here and back here all right and then got to remember his rib cage will finish like that his back will do this so his pecs will do that and here we are okay so push that belt up a little bit curve it like this and we'll get into that again later. But now we gotta figure out his legs. So Bruce Tim likes to exaggerate and simplify the muscles, okay? He likes it very streamlined. So his thigh will look like this. And then his knees will be very thin. And then his shins and his calves, the calf is gonna come out like this. 
very diamond-like cuts in the in the body. Okay. His other leg is going to come out like this. Now remember, we've got these lines here. I'm gonna do that with the knees too. Like this, and like that. All right, so now we also want to figure out the arms. He pulls the arms and the shoulders back. The elbow will go right about here. So then, it'll be like this. And he's making a fist. And then on this side, um, let's see. Just like this. All right. Now let's throw in some details. So we have to remember, you gotta follow this line. This is the center of his chest, right? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna throw in the oval right now. That's his bat symbol. I'm gonna throw in very light detail lines for his muscles because like I said he streamlines them major okay we're going to we're going to be very very economical when it comes to the lines in the belt and now his trunks. So we know where the leg is. So we'll do that with the trunks. And we can darken in these lines here. Top of his boots go in like this. Yeah, let's. Top of his boots, like that. And now let's throw in those arms. So, so we're just going to throw in a little divot here and make sure that his bicep is here. Glove cuts in like this. He has three scallop edges on his gauntlet. And now let's simplify the shape of his fist here. Just like that. And now the other one Push that out and then come in like this. Like that. Now, with Batman, the animated series, his cape initially will come out like this. and he could drape it over himself when he's hiding in the shadows. Okay, and then what we're gonna wanna do is we're going to wanna bellow that out. The bottom of his cape has, has scalloped edges so that when he is coming down from the rooftops or the rafters in a building, they would make the shape of a bat. And there we go. 
Now, we do have to put in some details in this bat symbol, all right? And I break it down from the middle. I'm working my way out. So I'll make the bat shape right there in the center, and then I will very carefully throw in the outer part of the bat wing first, and then I'll come in once in the center. And let's do it again on this side. You want to keep this as um, symmetrical as possible, but we're doing it on an angle. So there's a little bit of play there. But that looks okay to me. It's a little wonky, but it'll get by. Okay, now, like I said before, we've got him on the top of a side skyscraper. I really pushed that angle too far. It's okay, as long as you match the other angle. All right. And if you want, you can add in other buildings behind him, like they did. Okay, and I'll push that perspective. These aren't going to be great perspective angles because I'm not using any perspective points here. This is just for demonstration. But they really, they really pushed it in theirs as well, so I'm really not worried. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Really make it look like he is high above the buildings. Just like this. And there you are. Guys, thank you so much for drawing this with me. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you're always aware when I drop another video. I've got some other videos down here for you if you'd like to continue with me. And until the next video, we'll see you later.